Next. Listen, do you mind if I go first? I've got to get back to the stock exchange before four. Oh, sure. Let you go and bezel your millions while I struggle to get by off a minimum wage? I don't think so. <laughs> Homie, don't play that. I don't feel like it. I said sit down. Nay. Homie D. Clown. Oh, yes. Herman Simpson. We know all about you. I'm Sally. I'm your new parole officer. What's that, Sally? It's your file. Let's see. Abusive language. Failure to perform prescribed. Save your breath. That's just another long list of lies perpetrated by the man to keep a brother down. Clown, well, please. Let's place the blame where it belongs. I believe your antisocial behavior is the real problem. I'll tell you what the real problem is. The real problem is you're nothing but a tool of the man. You are living another in a fantasy world. You want to blame everybody arm, but yourself. You want to break your rules and say I don't care about Mr. Clown. I don't, I don't think so. so. Monday, and on Wednesday, you start your new job. But I got a job, honey bunch. I'm a clown, remember? You're not a clown. You're a buffoon. I'm talking about a real job, Herman. An entry-level position at that fancy new restaurant I told you about. Not Shea Whitey. Yes. Look, it's high time you stop playing the fool. Get yourself out of that ridiculous outfit and into a regular suit. You know, Herman, I can just picture it. You wearing one of those nice little red ballet jackets. If you're faithful and humble and do exactly what the man tells you, that means no hostility. They might even let you inside the restaurant. The time has come for you to fit into society. Come on, Herman, give it up and join the establishment. The establishment, huh? Yes. You want me to put on a little monkey suit and park cars for the man, huh? Maybe if I do real good, I can move up to washing dishes. Then maybe waiting tables. Who knows? Maybe five or six years later, I'll be able to see Whitey himself. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Yes, Herman, I would. I don't think so. Homie, don't play that. You tell him that. Good, get him here to sleep. Hmm. Now, I wonder where those sweet little children went. There he is. I told you he'd still be here. Uh Another clown trick, huh? Yeah! You can fall down laughing while they degrade and shame myself for your amusement, huh? Yeah! You'd like that, wouldn't you? Yeah! Hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me! Gather around, little chickadees. 
homie's got a little love story to tell you. Ooh. Yeah. Now, which one of you kicked me in my behind earlier? Hey, Daddy! Okay, you get up here and be my assistant. Yeah! Now, once upon a time, two lonely hearts came together. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just like this. <laughs> then love poured all out from their hearts. Nice and thick, like. <laughs> Until homie realized that it was just a trick to whiten him up. Like so. And it made his heart beat over and over and over again. The end. So what is our little lesson taught us, if nothing else, children? Oh, we, we don't, don't play that. that. Very good. Now let's sing a little homie love song. You do back up for me, would yeah. you? Love is bad. Bad. Love is sad. Sad. Love ain't glad. Glad. Love is something wish you never had. Cause love takes your heart and kicks it around the room. Then it tries to set you up and send you to It'll make you unhappy for the rest of your life. I said, back me up. Make you still go to jail. Make you get back to jail. Hey, hey. Hey. The white girl's on beat.